16 and 8 is 24, and 1 in the low is 25. Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow, and I am all kinds of excited. I have spent some time working with logic gates in Yeeps to create some combinational logic circuits, and I have created a 4-bit adder subtractor. No, doesn't just add, it subtracts as well. Uh, I think it's super cool, but I also wanted to share it with you because I can show you how it works, I can demonstrate, and you can get an idea of how this works and how you can use it yourself in circuits you can create. Now, the important thing here is you need to understand binary and positional notation for this to work. I'm going to assume, if you keep watching right now, that you know that. But if you don't, at the end of this video, I have put a short tutorial to explain it a little bit. But there's also tons of them on YouTube and, and etc. that can tell you all about binary. We're going to jump in, get started. I'm going to show you this circuit. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to demonstrate how you can create your own combinational logic circuits in Yeeps. All right, let's get to it. All right, Yeeps, I'm looking at this from the top down so that I can describe the circuit and show you how it works. And that is just this adder right here. I have broken it out, so I have moved the output right there so it just shows the carry out output. And I'm gonna explain what everything does. So right now, the green is an input, we can call that A. The red is an input, we can call that B. White, and, they could be hooked up to switches. These are hooked up to wireless controllers, it doesn't matter. Both of the inputs go through a toggle. The purpose of the toggle in this circuit is to keep the line high if it's got a high on it. If it doesn't, won't make any difference. And that will tog toggle. And so the toggles are actually connected back here wirelessly to a reset line so that I can reset all the toggles at one time by pressing a button. I don't have to you know, punch each one. I can hit one reset button and reset them all. In this case, it's two, but when I've got the whole four bit adder hooked up, it's all of them. I also have an input right here, and this is the AS switch. Okay, let's just call this the AS switch for add or subtract. When it has a low on it, the circuit is an adder. If it has a high on it, the circuit subtracts. And I'll demonstrate all of that. Now, to follow the rest of the lines in, you can see A is red, comes into this AND gate. It goes into that XOR gate. And then the same thing with the green, they both go into the XOR gate and then to the AND, depending on what signals you get, you'll get different. If both of these are there, it will go to the OR gate and light up. If one or the other, the input to the XOR gate, it will push that out. And then it goes to the next XOR gate, all right, which is actually connected to an AND. And, and the important part here is this black line right here. You don't really see it, but that is the carry in, which is also hooked up to the ANS switch. If the carry in is a low, it's an adder. If the carry in is a high, it's a subtractor. And what happens is it propagates down the line. So this output goes to the input of the next circuit. So I'm gonna demonstrate right now. To start with, we're gonna leave the circuit as an adder. And it's just a one bit adder, so we can't go very high in numbers, but I'll press the green line. You'll see it's lit up now. And the light lights up, meaning it equals a one. If I add one to it, on the other line, you notice it goes to the carry out because I have exceeded the maximum number of one in that position. That's how that works. And then I press the purple, that clears everything out. Now I'm gonna press the brown line, which is the carry in and the A and S switch. You see that the carry out right now is a high. This means it's gonna subtract from that. 
So if I select a one, you see the carryout is now no longer a two, it's a one. And I can't subtract more than that, but that's how it works. And if I try to subtract another one from it, well, nothing's, it's not gonna work properly because it's got nowhere to go. We don't have a way to do uh, negation or negative numbers in this circuit right now. I'm gonna explain to you really quickly um, so you can see what the bits are. So the top row up here going across, that's the first set of input numbers that I have, okay? Binary input numbers. This second row is the second set of binary input numbers that I have. Each one lights up. And then the light up blocks down here are actually the finished calculation that the circuit does. So you'll see them light up. Now it works slightly differently when you subtract, but I will explain that as I do it. And essentially, if you look here, the red and green are a circuit, the orange and the pink are a circuit, the blue and the yellow are a circuit, and the green and the brown are a circuit. So each one of those is combinational logic, and they're the same ones just repeated four times. So let me walk you through this real quick, and uh, I'll explain with the lights. We're, we're doing this in binary, so I'm gonna start with the number six, okay? So you see, that's it. I punched in the, the top two numbers on my control panel, and there's a six right there. It also shows six at the bottom. Now we're gonna add to the number six. We're gonna do six and six. That should be 12. All right, so you see the second set that I added in, and if you look at that in binary, one is nothing, two is nothing, four is high, eight is high, that equals 12 in decimal. And then the purple resets all the toggles, so it resets itself. Let's try one more of these. Let's go with a big circuit, let's go with eight, four, that gives us 12. Let's add 12 again. Actually, let's make it 13, give us an odd number. We added 12 and 13, and what do we have there? So you see it carried out to the fifth place, and that is 16. 16 and eight is 24, and one in the low is 25. Let's reset this now. All right, now I'm gonna show you the subtractor circuit. Now this uses almost the exact same thing. The subtractor circuit um, adds this XOR gate input that is run off this brown switch and all of them. And essentially this goes high or low, which controls whether it subtracts or not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and press the brown, which is the AS line, which means addition or subtraction. If it's a high, and you can see it's gone high, I'm gonna subtract now. And you see that the fifth column there, which is 16, lights up. That's just the way it works. I don't have any memory for it to draw on, so it has to have something to subtract from. So it carries out to the last place, and we're gonna subtract from 16 right now. So 16, let's subtract eight from that. So eight. Actually, I subtracted 10 from that and I ended up with six. Uh, see, I can't do math, but this thing can. Let's clear it out one more time. Oops. All right, everything's clear. I'm gonna press the circuit, so it immediately adds 16. Now I can actually subtract from more than 16 right now by using the upper row of numbers. So I am gonna add another eight to that. So 16, eight is 24 in decimal, and we're gonna start subtracting from that. So we wanna subtract a big number. Let's go with eight, four, and one.
And now if you look at that, you've got one, two, which is three, and then eight, that's 11. See how this works? All right, everybody, there you go. I hope you learned something from this. I am going to link the circuit diagram in the description. You'll be able to download it either off of Discord or uh, off of Google Drive that anybody can get to. You don't have to sign in. You just can download it if you want to use it. Completely up to you. I do not mind. If you run into me and you want to make a copy and start your own there, have at it. I I am just amazed by being able to do this in VR, you know, with my hands, assembling a logic circuit. Normally you do that on a on a breadboard with ICs and stuff like this. This is just amazing and I love it. All right, so this is the end of the video. Unless you want to watch the binary stuff. If you already understood it, you don't need to. This is that's just a little bit to help folks out if they didn't know binary already. All right, everybody. I I'm a rainbow. Y'all be good. I I love this stuff. This is great. Bye now. Okay, Yeeps, I assume you're here because you want to learn about binary. And uh, I'm going to try to cover that very quickly. There are a lot of other resources that will probably do a better job of explaining than me. But I wanted to put it in the video for completeness. Anyway, as you can see, we've got binary compared to decimal right there. And decimal or base 10 is what you're used to. You count to 10. You've got you have 10 fingers and toes as opposed to six on your yippee self but um in binary you only have two digits zero and one and you represent all the the numbers um that way and you count and normally in binary they're counting using positional notation and if you look positional notation just means it increases just like it does in decimal if you look at the column there the ones column the tens column the hundreds you're used to that now you've learned all of that in school now it's the same thing with binary first column is the one then the twos then the fours then the eights and it and it increases by two each time after that all right so and then as you can see so if you have a zero a zero all the way across is still zero okay zero is zero but you have a one that's as high as you can count in that first column without using positional notation which means when you get to the last number you can count to you jump to the next column and that's all that means right there so if you look you know when we go to two we jump to the next column we can represent three with two digits and then we have to jump to the next column for four and you see it's zero zero one all right that is how that works and you can see all the numbers represented there and that's how binary works hopefully that's good enough for you if not please go look for some other resources if you want to know it's good stuff all right